Jack Ryan made its debut to immediate success on Amazon Prime Video, but Season 2 disappointed fans of Tom Clancy's Hero. However, Season 3 has the potential to save the show. Also, Krasinski has brought out a dimension in Ryan that only a regularly occurring series could demonstrate. If you want to know about these in detail, watch this video to the end, as today's video will discuss how Jack Ryan Season 3 can salvage Season 2 and how Jack Ryan has become the best version of the character. First up, when was Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan first seen on screen? Amazon's modification of Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan premiered in August 2018 to immediate success. The romantic thriller was devoured by viewers worldwide, with John Krasinski receiving notable accolades for his achievement as the titular character. The first series ended on an exciting note, leaving viewers wanting more, but season two fell short of the same high standard. The second season lacked the same enthusiasm as the first. Although it was still a commercial success with more people viewing it than The Boys, it wasn't as enjoyable to watch. However, now now that the Season 3 trailer has been released, there are indications that the new season will restore Jack Ryan to its former glory. However, Jack Ryan Season 2 seemed to disappoint many viewers, let's get to know why. Season 2 Episode 1, Cargo, returned audiences to the action as Jack Ryan traveled to Venezuela backed up by a US diplomat, while James Greer remained Moscow Station Chief. The season was full of surprises and twists that the thriller fiction is known for, following both Ryan and Greer as they got deeply involved in a frequently violent search for unauthorized activities in Venezuela under the rule of the corrupt leader, Reyes. As in the first season, the season ended in suspense, leaving viewers to speculate as Ryan spoke with the state senate back in the United States before arresting the man. Despite the ongoing applause for Krasinski's acting skills, it only received a 58% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, a 30% decrease decrease from Season 1. Season 2 took an ambitious goal, but the eight episodes struggled from having so many characters who needed to be more inspired, loose strings left in storylines, and plot lines that felt cliched. The first season drew audiences in with its presumption of Jack Ryan as the everyman who happens to work for the US government. He depended on his mind more than his gun to resolve issues. Season 2 pushed that aspect aside in favor of conflict and action scenes. Next, how will Jack Ryan Season 3 fix things? So you may wonder how Jack Ryan Season 3 would salvage this situation. Sit tight, we are about to find out. The Season 3 trailer establishes the season as the most improbable yet. Ryan investigates a Russian conspiracy after trying to restore some sense of democracy in Venezuela. After a three-year sabbatical and with an end date in sight, Ryan has a falling out with the CIA as his behavior from the end of Season 2 is revealed. Quote, a tiny group of tough Russians established a plan to safeguard the USSR and employ a nuclear strike strike to create havoc, Ryan says early in the new trailer. The weapon has already been constructed and is in motion. Quote, Ryan will spend the season trying to clear his name after becoming accused of treason, as well as conducting an investigation of the scrotal project. He explained, according to TV Line, quote, Jack is driven underground, traversing Europe, attempting to stay alive while avoiding a massive global conflict. This plot undoubtedly expands the show's realm even further, but it also explores the repercussions of Ryan's previous actions. It keeps the personality of Jack Ryan at its heart, and this is where the show shines. Krasinski might now be Mr. Fantastic in the MCU, but he's still at his best as Ryan. If the series stays focused on Ryan and Greer and avoids becoming too big, as it did in the previous season, Jack Ryan Season 3 will be just as great as Season 1. Up next, why is John Krasinski's Jack Ryan the best version of the character? It was simply an issue of time before Ryan, like any other dominant literary hero, moved to the big screen. The the Ryanverse is among the strangest film franchises. Four actors appeared in five films, and Michael B. Jordan even starred in the Without Remorse spin-off, which failed to attract the same viewers. Each actor gave the hero a slightly different interpretation. Alec Baldwin in The Hunt for Red October was a somewhat nerdy analyst. Harrison Ford in Patriot Games, Clear and Present Dangers, was indeed a grizzled veteran. Ben Affleck in The Sum of All Fears was a captivating womanizer, and Chris Pine in Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit was a young youngster enthusiast. Each of these conceptions has its qualities, but they all work best in the setting of the particular stories they're telling. Because The Hunt for Red October is primarily a constricted thriller, it made complete sense to cast Ryan as an eccentric intellectual. Ford's background in action films earned him the ideal to portray the more exciting plotlines in Patriot Games and Clear and Present Danger. Similarly, Affleck's personality worked in a clumsier genre film, and Pine has the zeal required for a contemporary 
reboot, neither of these actors nevertheless could have carried Ryan's character through numerous adventures. Do you think so too? So let's explore some reasons why we feel this way. So how did Krasinski's Jack Ryan have hints of the past? Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan picks it up with a pretty young Ryan who has been promoted from CIA analyst to intense field operative. It was the ideal way to start Ryan's expertise while also giving him room for development. Ryan understands what he's talking about and his wisdom inspires his coach James Greer to provide him with more obligations. Pine's Jack Ryan has a naivete that Krasinski praises. Both protagonists are explicitly post-9-11 superheroes who struggle to figure out what it means to be a patriot in a contemporary era of terrorism. While Pine was created to be a more helpful character who might appeal to younger audiences, Krasinski has a healthy amount of doubt which never crosses the line into cynicism. However, with his ongoing interest in geo-tracking and spreadsheets, who does Jack resemble? Krasinski's Ryan resembles Baldwin's edition. Ryan may be required required to conceal his CIA interconnection by claiming to be working on boring research, but he finds this form of boring study so intriguing. Ryan's conversations with Kathy Mueller also show signs of Affleck's romantic period, although at the same time, he's not exactly a James Bond-esque womanizer, Ryan has a better and healthier bit of trust in himself that makes perfect sense in the contemporary dating world. When Ryan gets more experience in Yemen and Venezuela, Krasinski's Ryan starts to resemble Ford's gray hair physicality, Ford's version had been a seasoned operative with decades of experience, and Krasinski gets to demonstrate how he acquires such knowledge. Ryan arises from the Karachi mass slaughter as a different person. He is both enraged and heartbroken by the cruelty he observed and vows to ensure that a similar tragic event never happens again under his watch. Next, Jack Ryan, played by John Krasinski, is a true 21st century character. Ryan is a compelling character because he isn't an action hero but rather an issue solver. While there are plenty of blasts and gunfights in Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, each action scene serves a specific purpose in which Ryan attempts to use his experience to arrive at a solution. For example, Ryan's gunfight with Musa bin Suleiman in the season one ending occurs only after he has tracked down the terrorist leader to stop him from initiating a chemical weapon. He doesn't rush into danger for the sake of it. Correspondingly, Ryan is on a desperate quest to save Greer during a protest at the Royal Palace in the riveting Season 2 climax. While Patriot Games is primarily an action film, Clear and Present Danger was a crime drama in which Ryan discovered a conspiracy that led to the White House. Ford's Ryan lashes out against the President of the United States in the movie's iconic finale scene, accusing him of letting down his vows to the country. When Ryan's endeavor to negotiate a peace settlement with Suleiman's terrorist sect is thwarted by CIA authorities, we see a portion of the same righteous rage from Krasinski. Krasinski. Krasinski also shows Ryan's thoughts on contemporary political issues such as trafficking and xenophobia. Lastly, when do we get to see season 3 of Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan? Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan returns in December for its third season, and a fourth and final season has already been ordered. The second season concluded with Ryan and Greer agreeing, implying that an even more threatening mission was in one's future. Krasinski has been capable of bringing out a depth in Ryan that only a repeated series could demonstrate in the first two seasons. If the final seasons are as good as the initial two, Krasinski could show Ryan's full character towards its conclusion. Season 3 of Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan will officially launch on Prime Video on December 21st, where seasons 1 and 2 are already available to watch. And that's a wrap for this video. We hope you enjoyed it and got some information out of it. Please remember to click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our content. Also, please comment down below and let us know what you think about how Jack Ryan Season 3 can rebound from Season 2. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.